Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. I'll g give you an update of what I did since the last episode. And we had this air scrubber and it was overheating while we used it. So what I did was I extended this pipe down along here, down into the cold and then in a loop and back up. And that seems to have uh, fixed the scrubber. It hasn't overheated since, so that's hopefully going to work out. Uh, I'm going to try to plant a weaselwort. I don't know how I got a weaselwort seed, but I seem to have one. And I'm going to try to plant one here and see if I can grow it in here. That'll cool this area down even more. And I don't think I did anything else. Oh, I let some more water in from our geyser down in here. And it added more water here. But with it, <laughs> kind of a bit of a problem here. This tile is starting to break. Uh, and if we don't fix it fast enough, it's going to break and just like, kind of flood the bottom of our base, which was not going to be good. So what I'm going to try to do is get everyone to work on this. And basically I'm going to take everyone off everything. Like this. Except build. And hopefully that will get them all focused on building this out. And I think it's the only thing in terms of priority. It's all priority 9, so... Oh, they're not going to be able to reach this part. Unless they climb in, which I'm not sure they'll do. It says unreachable, so... Might have to actually dig this out in order to... In order to build this out. I mean, the part that's breaking is here. So actually, let's, let's just fix the breaking part first. Oh crap it's starting to <laughs> it's starting to come through maybe when it got replaced it let some water out I mean some is okay but we don't want too much flowing out okay maybe we should build the second layer before we attempt to build replace this actually it'll be okay since there's something underneath Oh, maybe not. It's not. It's not reachable from here. So. Whoa. So let's let everyone mine as well. Dig. I meant dig, not mine. <laughs> so if we do, if we dig all this out. and then put in a second layer just for strength. We've got a lot of water just kind of gushed out, but should be okay. Oh, they were able to get down there. Okay, that's good. It's hot in there though. Kind of frying. Cooking. Oh, it looks like it's breaking. Hopefully not. I mean, I'm using granite instead of sandstone, so it should be okay, but I'm going to do two layers just in case. Whoa, that was not good. Let out another big chunk. Let's cancel these until we get a second layer built. Probably speed things up. Got some stress going on too. We'll deal with that after, though. Okay, let's try to build a second layer here. Out of granite, priority 9, along here, but not here. Oh, we don't want Mima to sleep there. Why is she? Oh, she's stuck. Oh, man. Okay. Red alert. <laughs> Red alert. We gotta build a ladder up to Mima or she's gonna suffocate there, which we don't want. Slow things down. Oh, no. Mima died. She died so fast. Oh, man. That's not good. Sometimes they don't build in the most logical order and they get trapped. Poor Mima. That's sad. 
gonna have to make a tasteful memorial for her. I guess we can turn the red alert off. Let people go back to sleep. Let's see, we have new duplicates. No one can replace Mima, but can't build or dig. This could be our, our artist. I think I'll get Ruby as our artist. And now we can deal with the stress. Nicola and Trav need to hit the hit the massage tables. Oh, and I have to get all the jobs back on again. But maybe only for art we'll leave Ruby. Because Ruby's got the highest skill. I think I'll put the tasteful memorial down here maybe. Oh no, we're going to plant stuff in here. So maybe in here since people aren't going to be coming in here very often. I think that's furniture. Nope. It's decor. Tasteful memorial. Put that here. Got to dig this out so this water can get out. It's all trapped in here right now. Hopefully they can still get this low. Bubbles is stuck. How did Bubbles get stuck there? What is going on? <laughs> Sometimes I don't know. Okay, let's build a platform for her so she can escape. What? She could have walked out that whole time? That's weird. Maybe she just needed some oxygen. We can harvest all this mealwood as well. Looks like everyone's busy. <laughs> Food shortage? Not really. Our oxygen uh, its not looking too good here. Let's get this deoxidizer back online. Mop up that crap. Do it. I know, it sucks. It's gotta be done. Hey, it's a Mexican jumping bean. Wonder what's going on here. <laughs> Popcorn. I don't know if that's a bug or not. I'm gonna guess it is. Oh, our weaselwort seed doesn't is not plantable, so maybe we have to just put it on the ground? Not sure. Let's deconstruct that. Let's put bubbles only on digging and maybe Nicola only on building. Just so we, we get the digging and the building that we want done quickly. Otherwise I'll just do other tasks like we don't want them necessarily doing them. Okay, there they go. They don't seem to want to go down in here. Okay, there really is a food shortage. We got someone on food here. Let's make some of these priority nines so we get them some food right away. So there, now all this water can flow out down here. Which is good. I think. Sure, take an interesting path. They kind of like parkour their way down here instead of just digging the ladder. We need some more slime, so I'm going to tunnel in here. I could go from below, but I I want this to stay the only place the water can go when we drain this thing. So I'll just maybe tunnel in here. Get access to this polluted water too. Try to get it all flowing down into one cavity. And build some tile along here. Not sure if sandstone will be good enough because it's hot. It's really hot in here, so hopefully they're they can deal with it. We may want to airlock this off as well, or we're gonna get a bunch of stuff in here. So maybe we'll do that instead first. Manual airlock. Make this eight for now so they don't do it. Just realized this is going to make a complete mess. So maybe I will do something different here. Could go under here. That might be, make more sense. Yeah, and that way we're not getting into this water just yet. And there's some reed fiber in here which we can use to make clothing later on. Try to get that eventually. We should have put the airlock down here, but that's okay. They're easy to make and cheap, so make another one here. 
Probably don't want all this slime at once because we won't be able to process it all, so I'll just do a little bit here first. Not sure what will happen with this vacuum. Bubbles is was in the door. Interesting. We got three morbs in here. Probably because this Mima's dead body is in there. That's not good. Let's, if we set this tasteful memorial to nine, hopefully they'll pick her up and put her in there. It's crazy that we got three of these little guys already. Be cool if we could do something with them. Could seal off this area. Try to get a bunch of polluted. Oh, good, they picked her up. Let's put a manual airlock there. Keep these little guys around. We might might want them in the future. Not in our base, but there we go. Aren't they cute? Little morbs. So what's the pressure in here? Five hundred. I wonder if it'll just keep going up if we keep them in there. Got to check back in on that. There's an update coming on May 18th, the agricultural update. I'm not sure if that's going to force everyone to restart. Hopefully not, but it might be the case. But we'll be able to get pretty far, I think, in the next few days. Circuit overloaded. Really? Why? Looks fine right now. Oh, it's flashing yellow. Oh, probably because I turned the deoxidizer on. Well, we can change that out. Let's do this. Put some wire. Put some wire from here to here. And deconstruct the wire here. And that should just add this deoxidizer to this circuit so that it's not overloading. Let's build the ladder way down. See what's way at the bottom here. Going super deep. So the pressure is rising up here in this polluted oxygen pocket. It's up to 1600. Little morbs are just outputting lots of polluted oxygen. Which is good, because oxygen is oxygen. We can always filter it later. So this is going to be another growing room since it's nice and cool here. So we'll put some planter boxes in here. Leaving room for a couple algae terrari terrariums. And a door to keep the oxygen in. We need, we need some more slime. Let's keep digging through here. New duplicates! Who do we got here? We got a farter? A loud sleeper and a farter. Don't want that. And no one good this time around. Maybe next time. We're going to need a third bedroom up here anyway, because these are getting kind of full. And I want to replace some of this, cru this these crude paintings with some nicer ones. Now that we have an artist. Eventually we want all of this hydrogen to flow up into here, and maybe if we, we'll be able to generate some power up here eventually. So we got a second uh, bio distiller going on here to convert slime to algae. And I filled up the new grow room with a bunch of bristle blossoms. And we got the ladder going down way deeper now. <laughs> it's pretty deep. Uh there popcorn down here. And I don't want to I don't want to disturb these these warts down here, so I might go to the right or left and then go down some more. Oh, we got some new things down here. The puffed. And I think he consumes he consumes polluted oxygen and he poops out slime. Which could be handy. 
We'll have to get him and a morb in the same room and they can create slime forever. But maybe that'll be in a future video. This is a huge iced area. I've never seen anything like this. It's so big. And it's all oxygen in here. Actually, if we crack this open, we could get all this oxygen f rising to the top. So maybe I'll do that. Yeah, it's slowly rising. And the CO2 should fall in here, which should be good. Actually, there's a lot of oxygen in here. Look at all this. So this will all, in theory, flow up. Which would be good. Good for our colonists. Duplicants. Oh, Ruby just made a masterpiece. Little duplicate Mona Lisa. That's good. Right, we want uh, we want them all to be like that. So decor twenty two versus this crude one is eleven. So that's good. We can maybe disassemble some of these other ones here. So we're out of fertilizer. We need a uh, you know way to make some fertilizer. Because our compost piles are not keeping up. There is a fertilizer maker which uses polluted water. We could try to get this hooked up to our biodistillery. Biodistiller. Instead of dumping it in this pool, we could try to inject it directly into the fertilizer maker. Not sure if that'll work, but let's try. Refinement. Fertilizer maker. Let's put that down here. Try to plumb that directly into... into here. Doesn't seem to be working. Empty pipe. I'm going to try to disconnect it here and see if that does it. Empty pipe. No, I think I need to actually put polluted water in. Pump it in. Let's undo everything we just did. Maybe we'll build it up. Up here by this polluted water. And use that. So I'm going to put the fertilizer maker over here, where it's a bit cooler. Otherwise, I think it would overheat if I put it here. And then get the polluted water, pump it out here, bring it over here, and then make some fertilizer. See how that goes. Do you need some pipe over there? And if we need more polluted water, we can tap into this. And the hydrogen, we open this up and it's all collecting up here, which is nice. Gonna make a little extra path here for it to go up. And then all of it should flow up here. And then eventually we can put a gas pump and a hydrogen generator up here for power. I also wanted to build a coal generator, since we have a bunch of coal that we're not using. I don't like to rely on it, but because people if the duplicates running on these manual generators, they, they kind of level up really quickly. Some of them have some crazy high levels now too, like Travis Travis uh, level 27 athletics 24 so they're they're leveling up well on these generators, so I don't necessarily want to build a coal plant, but it'll be nice just in case we need it. And it's in a nice cool area, so it tends to overheat, so hopefully that keeps it cool. They run really fast when they get their athletics up. It's pretty crazy. So I've skipped ahead about 35 cycles. Uh, I did a bunch of stuff in between then. Some of it was a little bit boring, like all these crude paintings I deconstructed and tried to get better versions of them. 
I took on a few new colonists, so we're up to 12 now. Built a new bedroom here. Um, one of them is a decent at art, so who do we got here? Ruby, who's got a 6 in art. And she should be the only one doing the art. Joshua's pretty good too. Actually, I'll leave him on art as well. Actually, I'll just keep one, one on art. And I got the the crude, uh, not crude, the polluted water pool going. And it it pipes over to these two fertilizer makers. So it's empty pipe. That's interesting. This was running. Oh yeah, they're running. I also explored up way up to the top. I want to eventually see like what's at the very top, but made this long tunnel. And we've accumulated a lot of hydrogen. If you can see, so it's kind of oxygen to about here, and then all this is hydrogen. All this, all this, all this. So I'm going to try to build a gas pump here and pump the hydrogen directly into a hydrogen generator to produce power and then wire it back all the way down here. Kind of continue on with replacing these paintings as well, but that's probably won't put that in this video. I built a little, extended this geyser area a little bit and used insulated tile just so that we can build up water a little bit more and then let it flow down in here. And I'm going to try to grow thimble reed in here. Thimble reed needs to be it's somewhat warm. It also has to be in one of these water tiles, aquatic farm tiles, which is under food. Yeah, right here, farm, aquatic farm tile. And I tried to build a few over here. This one is actually growing, but it was complaining about being a bit too cold here. So it needs to be between 25 and 45 degrees Celsius. And right now this area is 26, so it's just barely but it's a bit warmer over here, so I'm going to try to build a few more thimble reeds here. And thimble reeds ultimately allow you to make some kind of fabric, which is used in the textile factory. And I haven't built one of those yet, but I might just build one right now. Probably put it maybe up here. Make it out of copper. You line it up with the power that's already there, so we don't have to build anything. I mean, we don't have any, we don't have any textile stuff yet ready for it, but we should fairly, fairly soon once this grows and these grow. So we've been doing fine for stress. It's rare that they'll get kind of get over ten percent, and when they do, I just put them on the massage table. And we're good for food. We got fifty thousand. It got a bit too warm in here for bristle blossoms, so I'm going to uproot them all and just grow uh, mealwood in here. But then down here we've got a bristle blossom kind of farm, and I might build some more in here. And I was able to plant a wheeze wart, so I grabbed one from way down here. You just uh, you click it and you just uproot it, which will do it will give you a wheeze wart seed. And then what you do is you build a storage compactor. I built one right where this guy is now. And then the only thing you allow in it is weaselwort seeds. So, and then you sweep it up. So the weaselwort seed gets put in the storage compactor here. And as long as the storage compactor is on kind of natural ground, like granite, for instance, what happens is you, you deconstruct the storage compactor when the weaselwort seed is inside. And the seed will just be sitting on the ground, and then after some amount of time, like a cycle or two, it'll turn into this weaselwort. And what weaselworts do is they, they kind of cool down the surrounding area. So right here we got it's minus two, minus one. It's cooling down this whole room, basically. It's weird that it's cooler over here than here, but if you look like right here, it's m minus 50 here, minus 38. Yeah, so that's uh, kind of how you get weaselworts going. So we're tr I want to get to this puffed. So what this puff does is he he eats polluted oxygen, breathes it in, and then he poops out slime. So here's a little bit of slime that he pooped out. So it's 35 kilograms, 
It decays really rapidly and it gives off polluted oxygen. So the idea would be to they're pretty funny, they got this little anal gland, which is kinda hilarious. They're so funny. Oh, he's able to get there. They are you can kill them by but they can get stuck in a door and die. So we don't want that. And we don't want him to escape and get out here. So hopefully we can kind of build walls to coax him up. Maybe open up this area as well. And the idea eventually is to get... is to farm the slime from him. Might be hard with just one, but... We'll see how it goes. We could watch him for hours. Whoever created this guy. <laughs> Probably had a lot of fun. Since he's since he's kind of sticking around the bottom here where it's polluted, I'm gonna try to go from the top instead. And we have no shortage of slime right now, but eventually, eventually we'll run out. I don't know when eventually. I don't know how big the map is, but suffocating. Trav, what are you doing? Okay, why are you suffocating here? You can you can run down. Oh no, you can't. Uh oh, that's not good. Thirty-nine. Get out of there. <laughs> okay, he's okay. So in this textile factory, we can build a snazzy suit, which uh. Gives the plus 30 decor to the wear. Uh, and some conductive barrier. I'm not sure if that helps with temperature. But then there's a cool vest, which protects the wear from heat and a warm sweater, which helps them from cold. So later on, when we get to the bottom of the map, we might use a cool vest. To help protect from the heat or whenever we go anywhere hot like over here this area it's like 82 degrees they get scalded when they come here so wearing a vest like that would help another thing we can build is the the rejuvenator which is kind of like a souped up version of the medical cot it heals the heals the people it uses a lot of power but I'm gonna try to build one Maybe right here. And I don't know if anyone needs healing, but we can try it out. One other thing I did here was I made this tiny little sealed room where I store slime. And that way the polluted oxygen doesn't just flood through my base, even though I have a lot here. Uh, if the bio distillers are too full and there's excess slime, they can stick it in here and it's not going to pollute the whole base. We do have lots of slime right now, 10,000, almost 11,000 kilograms, and we got about 10,000 algae, so we're okay in, with respect to algae and slime. And we have a big deposit of slime here, it just kind of goes on forever, so we could just keep going <laughs> this way and down. There's a lot of it. One thing I noticed is that after you harvest a bristle blossom, it automatically, like, once you harvest it five times, it seems to they seem to replant them, which I didn't kind of notice before. Might be new. I also turned off the air scrubber because we didn't have a lot of CO2 building up. It did a really good job of just clearing it all out. Maybe some of it's maybe the rest of it's just falling down here. There's such a big open pocket here. It didn't seem to go in here though, which is interesting. Okay, so a little puffed. He came back up top. We want to be careful. That's weird. He automatically went and got some slime from here. Interesting. Kind of want to lock this one. And then go in from the bottom. But maybe just try to crack open this whole area. If he gets trapped in that door, he's going to die. So we don't, we don't want that. So Trav has 91 health. So let's get him in this newly placed 
rejuvenator. See how fast it heals him. Oh, he's in there. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, Trav, where are you? Can't see him while he's in there. I can't click on him. Okay. So health. Oh, 102. That's weird. Whoa, it made his health 140. Wow. How long does that last? Oh, I think I know what's going on here. I think his actual health was 140. And he's 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 been leveling up and it's been causing his health to go up, but I guess it doesn't they don't naturally regenerate, so you need to put them in here. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. Who else is injured? Hassan. Okay. Let's put you in here, Hassan. Let's see what happens to your health. So you're at 99. 141. Wow! Amazing. Okay. Let's just get everyone in there. So look at them. They're picking up all the slime. That's great. Nice. And hopefully he's trapped in there. Okay, he seems to be able to move through this up and down and out. Just realized we have some exposed bleach stone up here, which is not good. So there's chlorine leaking out of these. Not good, not good at all. But we can use this stuff for a hand sanitizer station. Not sure if we'll be able to reach that, but so the chlorine's getting stuck right here, which is not good. We don't want it flowing down at all. It'll eventually sink into our base, which is not good. The hand sanitizer needs 50 kilograms of bleach stone. So we should be good enough from these two here. And then pro we probably want to seal this off after we mine a bit of this. And we got another geyser here, which is nice. More water. We have so much hydrogen in here, I kind of want to build a gas pump and a hydrogen generator. I guess we could do it like that. Gonna need power all the way up there. Plenty of copper though. Let's run it along the ladders. It's probably the easiest. It's a long way up there. And we need gas pipes. Probably don't need a filter, but I'll leave enough space if we need a filter for later. Because it's all it should all be just hydrogen here. The, day, the game is lagging a little bit more now that it's kind of opened up a lot of the map. Probably tell while I scroll, it's pretty slow. It'll be nice to burn up all this hydrogen. It's just been collecting up here. It's almost done. I was watching this other video on YouTube about a hydrogen bubbler which is this super complicated <laughs> machine that you can build that cools hydrogen down to a super cold temperature and using that cold temperature you cool down oxygen until it's liquefied and once it's you basically put polluted oxygen in and it gets liquefied and it, when you rethaw it and it gasifies it's clean oxygen so it's a way of cleaning polluted oxygen which is pretty cool but it was super complicated I may try it out in a future video, but if you're curious, just Google hydrogen bubbler. It'll in be interesting to see if they have a use for chlorine in the future. Right now it's just pretty much just poison. Okay, got the bleach stone. Let's build a hand sanitizer. Right by the mess tables. Oh, we still don't have enough bleach stone. Okay. Sweep up this. How much do we got here? 22 kilograms. Not quite enough. If we get this last piece, hopefully it'll be enough. 45 kilograms. Yes, it should be enough. Hopefully the chlorine doesn't leak through this corner here. Where is the bleach stone residing? Right in here. Okay. 
That's weird. These are facing backwards. Weird. <laughs> okay. Let's build that thing. Uh... Oh, look. Hydrogen generator is pumping away. That's awesome. That'll clear up all this hydrogen. 800 watts. Don't really need the hand sanitizer station because we have a shower, but I'm figuring it might be a more efficient way for them to get clean. Okay. <laughs> it also need, needs bleach stone. How much? Does it say? Contents none. Okay, it's got some now. Hopefully it has all of the bleach stone zero. Good. Let's see. Hopefully someone uses that. So we can see how much it goes down by. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> so it licks their hands. Cute. Could continue our journey downwards. Not sure we want to go through the geyser. <laughs> to the unknown we go. Gonna try to go left here. I'm curious what's way over here. It's pretty chilly in here. Minus 25. They're not happy about it. Sorry guys. We have a learning plus seven. I'm gonna actually take this person, Ellie. They're all freezing. What does hypothermia actually do? Oh, reduces all their skills. Mental skills. Oh, that looks like a bug. It's not showing up. Okay, Joshua, get in the rejuvenator. Looks like a coffin. Did that heal him? Oh no, it doesn't help hypothermia. How long does it last? 1.3 cycles. Remedies, none. Okay. Oh well. Oh, it's getting really hot down here. 240 degrees Celsius. Wow. That's very hot. Maybe the magma will be underneath us. I think that's probably good for this episode. We've done quite a bit. Discovered some new stuff. Explored. Hopefully next episode we'll either get to the top of the map or the bottom. So we can see what lurks below or above. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want future notifications when I release new videos, which should be daily for next week or so at least, until the update comes out, and then we'll have to see what 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 is new. Okay, thanks for watching.